Well, the session is speeding up this week. One item lawmakers are focusing on is eliminating the state's hefty food sales tax. If it goes through, it could save some families hundreds of dollars a year on groceries. KSNT News Capitol Bureau reporter Rebecca Chung joins us live at the State House now. So, Rebecca, where do things stand tonight? Thank you, Mackenzie. Well, this bill is in committee right now. It's going to be starting off here in the House, and then if approved, it could move to the floor for debate. I'm told that's very likely to happen, especially since it's gaining support on both sides of the aisle. It's a plan to axe the food tax. Fighting for Kansas. A push from Governor Kelly was announced in November of last year to nix the state's food sales tax. Right now, that tax sits at 6.5 percent. The plan is now expected to move forward in the House as Democrats and Republicans weigh the cost. We want to take a look at the out years and the longevity and make sure that we aren't going too far too fast. While it comes with a pricey fiscal note that's expected to cost hundreds of millions of dollars, some could argue that the benefits may outweigh the cost, saving a family of four about $500 a year. Kansas is one of a handful of states that fully taxes food. We're the second highest food sales tax in the country. It's time we get rid of it. Republicans also had their own proposal in the past to gradually phase out the state's food sales tax. But Governor Kelly vetoed the plan, something GOP leaders have pushed back on. Despite past disputes, some say the new plan will most likely have bipartisan support, especially now that the state's income is up. The revenue has probably created the motivation behind this now. As tax chairman, I'm trying to act on it with caution and make sure that we're being responsible. Now, this is also a political issue. The governor is going to be going up against Republican frontrunner Attorney General Derek Schmidt in this year's election. And depending on what passes here this year, it could impact the outcome of that race. Right now, that first hearing on this bill is set for tomorrow afternoon. For now, reporting live at the Capitol, covering local news that matters, Rebecca Chung, KSNT News.